Hello. Uh, I thought I would show you some of my nails in collection. They're a um, really great UK brand. Um, don't think they're available in the rest of the world yet. Um, they m might be available in some places, but um, they're quite a big brand in the UK. Um, I've got quite a large collection of them. I've got about 35 polishes, but I thought I would just show you some of my favourites. Um, so I, I always use a nail zinc top coat and base coat. Um, my favourite top coat is this Albert Bridge. Um, it's just a uh, really good, hard wearing, shiny, quick drying top coat. It makes your polish look wet still. It's fantastic. Um, really love it, and I would never do a manicure without it. It's probably one of the only things I've re bought after I've tried it. Um, and I would I would always rebuy this. It's fantastic. Really good. Um, one of my newest polishes is um, this one called Charlotte Street and it's a really nice silvery grey um, has a little bit of shimmer in it looks really good on your nails if you're wearing a black or anything like that it looks really good um, I love that I'm definitely getting more into wearing lighter colours on my nails so that's really good another grey that I've got is called the Thames um, I like to wear grey instead of black sometimes because I find if black chips it looks really obvious and I think with grey it doesn't look quite so bad if it chips a little bit while you're at work. Um, so this is a nice gun metal grey. That's called the Thames. And I have this other grey called Maddox Street. Um, it's almost a black grey. It has some glitter in it, a little bit of shimmer. And that looks really cool on, really nice if you've got short square nails like I have. Another one of my newer ones is called Dover Street Market and it's a purple. I'm still on the search for my perfect purple. Um, I saw Lauren Conrad wearing one on the hills and it looked amazing. Um, so I thought I would buy this to try it. It's still a little bit dark for me. Um, I don't always like all purples, a certain shade of purple that I don't really like and I think it looks a bit cheap, um, but I, I do like this colour a lot, um, one of the darker purples. I've tried Chanel's Vendetta, I was really disappointed with it, it didn't come out anywhere near as purple as it looks in the bottle, um, so I was disappointed with that, especially for the cost because it didn't last either, it chipped. I was really gutted about that. These are really hard wearing polishes. They can easily like, uh, can easily do a whole manicure um, with a top coat and everything and make it last a week, maybe more. Um, the reason I change it is that I just get bored of it. I've got so many colours I want to try them all so um, otherwise I can make it last longer. Um, this is a really nice red called Aspen. Um, it's a metallic red. There's a lot of shimmer in it. Uh, again, this looks really good on. I should have swatched them really for you, but this looks really good. Um, and this also looks really good with this one called Trafalgar Square, which is a, a, just a red glitter. It's in a clear polish. Um, I think it's like the um, Ruby Pumps from China Glaze, which I have ordered. My China Glaze collection is coming soon. I should be here in about 10 days, um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'll show you those when they get here. But this is in a clear varnish, so you can use it as a top coat. I think the Ruby Pumps is in a red polish. I'm not sure that's why I've ordered it. Um, yeah, so these two look really good together. Really Christmassy and festive. I love that. Um, Another metallic sort of shimmery one is this one called Burlington Arcade and it's more of a purple. That looks nice on. It's quite, um, the colour's quite strong. I think it stained my nails once so I always put a couple of coats of base with this. I um, always use base coat because otherwise you'll get stained nails. This is one of the first colours I ever bought from Nails Inc and I've re-bought it because I love it so much. I used the whole bottle of it um, and it's Shoreditch. And it's a really bright pink and it looks so good on short nails while you're on holiday. It looks great against the tan. This is probably one of the ones I've had like really get 
people always comment on it when I wear it. I don't know why, cause it, but it's a really, really nice pink. Really nice pink. Um, this is Carnaby Street. I've never had the guts to wear it on my fingernails. I've only ever worn it on my toes, but it looks fab in the summer when you've got some flip-flops on, or, and if, especially if you've got a contrasting colour underneath um, with your flip-flops. It looks so good. Really cool. Um, and it's a nice, thick, yellow colour. Um, I would hate them if they're a bit see-through still, but that looks so good on. And again, another one I've not worn on my fingers, but I will do soon because... I've only worn this on my toes because I'm getting more into the brighter colours. I think I'm going to definitely wear this on my fingernails. This is called Eaton Street and it's orange. But it's fab, love it. Um, again, I've only worn this on my toes but this is called Ascot and it's a really nice shimmery green. I've ordered the Emerald Sparkle from China Glaze and I think this is going to be quite a similar colour. What I have done temporarily in the meantime is bought this Barry M glitter and those two look really good together. I've only worn it on my toes though but I might well try it on my fingers. Um, I love brown on nails, just think it looks so good on short nails. And this is called Hyde Park Corner it's a really chocolatey brown and the brown really comes out, it doesn't look black, it doesn't look red, it is definitely brown when you put it on and I love that really good really nice i haven't worn this for ages so i think oh, i'm gonna wear this again soon and then my most favorite one at the moment is this one called um brompton road and i think it came in a collection because i've had it for a while but i've never worn it and it's this really nice kind of it's darker than lilac really um matte color and i just have fallen in love with it I really love it I've never ever worn this colour on my nails but it looks so good on uh, but I've had it for a long time but I've only I've only worn it recently so that's great I'm really looking forward to the summer collection that they're bringing out um, it's from um, a shoe designer um, they've done a collection of sort of pastel blues um, to go with her shoes that she's designed. Um, I'm really sorry, I've forgotten the name of the designer, but if I, I'll put it in the sidebar if I remember. <laughs> I'll look it up. Um, so I'm really definitely looking forward to some of those. Um, I usually buy these in a collection, unless I'm buying the odd one. So they're quite expensive, they're ten fifty each for a polish. Um, but they're such amazing polishes, they do really good colours. Um, they're long lasting and I can't speak highly enough of them so if you're lucky enough to get your hands on them in the States or in Europe really do so because they're really good uh, okay our next video I'll do will be my china glaze video and I'll show you those more nail varnish oh if you do want to see any more of my nails ink um, I can do another video I've got lots more colours to show you um, and uh, yeah I can definitely do that okay <laughs> see you soon